Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ariel. I create mainly beauty videos, fragrance, and lifestyle vlogs. So if that's the type of content you enjoy, I would love for you to come join the family by hitting the subscribe button. So today is gonna be a full review and makeup tutorial using the brand new Hoss Labs Concealer. I was more than excited to get my hands on this concealer because Hoss Labs Foundation is probably in my top three favorite foundations. So I was excited to see what this concealer is given I expected nothing but the best now the claims of this long wearing formula is to depuff, brighten and smooth over fine lines one of the key ingredients is niacinamide which is supposed to brighten and boost the skin's hydration another key ingredient is hyaluronic acid which plumps and also delivers extra hydration I did order this concealer on Sephora and it retails for $32 so if you want to see how I got this look and how the new Hoss Labs concealer performs then keep on watching okay socialites so here is the outer packaging cardboard box typical of most concealers it's white that has Hoss Labs by Lady Gaga embossed into here so you could feel it sort of like textured esque and then the top part does have your shade on the top so I did pick up two I was wanting to get something my skin tone and then something lighter to highlight with so I picked up 40 medium which is described as deep golden and I also got 34 medium golden so this is what the actual concealer tube looks like it's a frosted glass just like the foundation as you can see they're quite similar so it has this frosted glass bottle that has Hoss Labs in a silver chrome with the silver chrome top that has an H at the top of it. So let's prep the skin before we get started. I'm going to take my Clinique Moisture Surge Moisturizer. I've already washed and toned my skin. I like this one to use before makeup because it's so super lightweight but then it does a great job at moisturizing. I usually let the moisturizer sit for about two minutes sort of let it sink into the skin before I go in with primer. For primer today I'm going to use the Refi primer. This is a primer that does extend the wear of your makeup a little bit but I also like it because it's moisturizing and smoothing. Similar to the moisturizer, I let the primer sit for about two minutes before I go in with my foundation. For foundation, I thought it fitting to use the Hoss Labs foundation. I do wear the color 385 Medium Neutral. I like to distribute in the areas that I need the most coverage first and then sort of go from there. Using the shade 40 medium deep, I'm going to try to conceal the pigmentation that I could still see through the foundation. I do have a little bit here and then a tiny bit in this area. So let's see if this is the right color for my actual skin tone. So one thing to note, this is a really tight fit inside of the mechanism. You almost have to just slightly force it out. So it looks slightly lighter than my skin tone, but we'll see how it blends out. This is quite a thick formula as well, a little thicker than the actual foundation, which is different. So it does blend out quite well. I'm not mad at the shade. I could go one shade darker to make it even closer to my skin tone, but this one's not bad. I feel like once I finish the rest of my face, it will work out just fine. It blends out pretty easily. It's definitely a medium coverage product. It doesn't cover completely. For highlighting, I'm going to use the shade 34 Medium Golden. I do want to note that this formula does come in 31 different shades, so they will definitely have a shade that you can work with. I'm going to blend one side with my Beauty Blender sponge. And the other side with my e.l.f. putty brush. So it does give a little bit more coverage with a brush, which is typical. That's usually how it goes. A little bit more sheared out with the sponge, but with both, it's more so of a medium coverage. So I'm gonna go in with one more layer. Let's see how blendable it is. So 
so it does blend out seamlessly even when you layer it it doesn't become clumpy at all it blends just as smooth as if it were one layer and I like how it glides over my fine lines instead of settling in the fine lines it almost just sort of glides over it so similar to the makeup by Mario concealer this is supposed to be self-setting I think that's like the newest thing now is for concealers to sort of self-set where you don't have to set with powder and I don't see it settling in lines and it does look pretty smooth I'm probably still gonna set mine with powder just because I like the finish of how a powder looks on skin and how smooth it allows your under eye to look but let's do contour and revisit the under eye area going in with my sculpt tape Back to the under eye area, it is very minimal creasing still. It does feel slightly sticky and it does sort of come off on my finger when I touch it. So I wouldn't leave it like this without setting with powder, but you may be able to get away with it because it doesn't really crease that much. So I'm gonna take my one size ultimate setting powder in the color ultra pink. I told myself I was gonna sit this one down this month, but I can't. <laughs> It does look really thin under the eye, almost like I don't have anything on. Like it's almost even with my skin, if that makes any sense. It's just really thin as if I have on a super, super see-through product, even though it gave me great coverage with the two layers. I'm gonna fill in my brows with my Sephora brow pencil. I'm gonna bronze my skin up a bit with the Absolute New York Pro Bronzer. This one's in the color dark. And I'm also gonna blend the same bronzer on my lids just so it could be cohesive. Going in with my Tom Ford Definer Pen, I'm gonna create a really thin line. Else Thrift Shop in the waterline. YSL Lash Clash Mascara. I'm gonna add a little bit more glow to my skin with the Physicians Formula Press Powder. For setting spray, I'm going to use the LYS Natural Finish Spray. For lip liner, the Juvia's Place Lip Liner in the color So Rare. And Juvia's Place Liner in Cola, which is a little bit darker. Elf's Lipstick, this one's in the color Hustle. With Too Faced Lip Injection, this one's the Maximum Plump in the color Chocolate Plump. And this is the final look. Overall, I do think this is a really nice concealer, very creamy, and it's definitely blendable. It does remind me of the Dior Forever Concealer, except the Dior has more coverage than this one. So if you like the formula of the Dior Skin Correct, you will probably love this one as well. Comment down below, let me know if you've tried this formula yet, and if so, what are your thoughts? Every single thing that I used on my face today will be linked down below in the description box, so be sure to check that out. If you're new here, Welcome. I would love for you to come join the family by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.
But I don't have the honor